What about some of the nutty stuff in the American media? Obviously, the the initial couple of days meant that they just couldn't say it, but slowly but surely they're starting to say it now, aren't they? At every turn. It's, you know, the academy, meaning the colleges and the universities, have been completely captured by this leftist ideology, far left ideology, as has the media. And it matters because covering this conflict influences hearts and minds across the globe, but especially here at home. And what we get is headlines like the one we got from Forbes uh, lamenting the unprompted attack by Israel on Gaza. Come. What? What? That happened? What are you saying? It's like they have actual Hamas terrorists running Forbes magazine now. Used to be one of the most respected publications in America. MSNBC is so bad, they won't refer to them as terrorists, even though our president, Joe Biden, their guy, is calling them terrorists, as does our State Department. Its official U.S. policy has been for a long, long time. MSNBC can't bring itself to use that term. Militants. Militants. Like somehow they're just like a disorganized military group. That's not it. That militants don't chop off the heads of 40 babies. Excuse me for the graphic description. That's what's happening. That's what the local reports are. They're terrorists. They're evil. They're devils. They're inhuman. They're not made of the same things that you and I are. There's no heart. There's no morality. There's no human value that I can relate to in any way, shape, or form. I, I barely recognize them as humans. It's absolutely shocking how the media and these leftists, like those at Harvard, those at Stanford, at Yale, at George Washington University, at Northwestern University, I could go on, at NYU. The head of the NYU student law group is tweeting out all this nonsense about how everything that happened there is Israel's fault. It's all on Israel. This person worked at one of the most prestigious law firms in America last summer, and now she's tweeting out, she's a BLMer, you know, she's tweeting out this nonsense. And so are all these student groups at all of these prestigious colleges across America. They should be fired. She had a summer internship for a prestigious law firm called Winston and Strawn. I know it well, it was in Chicago when I was there. They should fire her ass. If they gave her an offer to come work for them, it should be revoked. There was a tweet put out today by uh, um, this big hedge fund guy here in America, and he was saying, that they are, there's a group of hedge fund and investment bankers, uh, guys, who are now working to get the names of all the students at the 31 student groups at Harvard who signed this letter, this anti-Semitic letter, disregarding all the violence that had been done to the Israelis and putting it all back on them. And it's happening at university after university. Let's get the names of all of them. You can't just let your student group put that out and hide behind the shield of the name, the Democratic Socialists of America or the student law group, whatever. Let's know your name. Good luck getting a job at Goldman Sachs. Good luck getting a job at the Megyn Kelly Show. Getting Good luck getting a job at any of these massive financial institutions, which happen to have a fair amount of Jewish people working there and probably will recognize your anti-Semitism with very little effort. They ought to be shamed and called out. They don't know what they're talking about. They have no idea what happened in the history of the, this, the relations between these two. And they refuse to look at the evidence in front of their very eyes, in part because they're watching MSNBC all day, where they're just referring to them as angry militants, as opposed to disgusting, vile terrorists who are chopping off children's heads.